Hello, welcome to Genimec Generator Services. Today we've got the FG Wilson 2001 Generator Auto Controller. Now by auto, I mean it has an auto start function. As you can see now it's in auto. Now this is some 20 plus years old. Still one of my favourites. Nice and simple to use. Unfortunately it's all been replaced now by Power Wizard which FG Wilson adopted uh, and a lot of people generally fit deep sea controllers um, or other digital controllers uh, but this is the old analog system with a simple switch which really is that simple with the three positions now as it's in auto I'm just going to switch to off because we don't want it to start up which it could do at any time just while I'm going through this quick demonstration so here we have a list of faults that it could potentially bring up all right we can test all these LEDs just by pressing that button there make sure they all illuminate okay now if it fails to start obviously you'll get this one high engine temperature so it will shut itself down if it gets to a known temperature obviously we don't want the coolant to boil so this will protect itself against that um, and then it'll give you somewhere to go look obviously when it's cooled down check the radiator's not blocked check for blockages in your coolant system and obviously check the water level if it's got some in and it hasn't got any leaks low oil pressure that's an important one obviously if you get a low oil pressure alarm you, you want it to stop you check your oil level uh, make sure that you've got the correct amount of oil in there if not you want to be looking for leaks or if not then obviously you've got other problems that we'll need looking into and then overspeed or emergency stop now this one most commonly we'll see this if it runs out of fuel or if it's running out of fuel the engine will start surging and it will shut down on this alarm hopefully before it actually runs out of fuel so you don't have to bleed it all up again um, or obviously someone's pushed the emergency stop button in pull that out make sure it's out that should all clear on its own so dead simple okay let me go through what you've got here so you've just got some analog gauges so you can go your volt gauge here which will test obviously the voltage coming out the alternator and you've got all three phases phase to neutral so you can go phase to neutral or phase to phase and you can do that across all three just by switching that dial there frequency obviously we should be set at 50 hertz in the UK that's 1500 rpm so you want to be looking at that somewhere there if it's a bit too high or a bit too low it might cause you a problem get someone out to come and alter that for you and then obviously your current here in amps now this is a 300 kVA machine so it's just over 400 amps hence why it's you know it's only got this small scale in there again you can test between all three phases when it's running uh, and obviously it has to be on load before it starts showing up there um, something to check is ideally you want the load quite balanced so you know you want an equal load on all three phases in an ideal world um, so that is something you know you do want to be checking and if you can swap anything over on phases if, if you've got imbalances it's a good idea to do so okay you've got your hours counter here now this is a 1999 set so it's what 22 years old now and it's only done 76 hours it's just a standby set but it's it's still in good condition it's still doing the job that it's intended to do and it's well it's a bit of a honey to be honest here we have your two coolant temperature gauge okay now you'd normally see this running about 80 85 degrees so obviously just like your car it gets too hot you'll see it creeping up or I don't know if it's not warming up properly you know you potentially have an issue there now this is your DC voltage so you want to be checking ideally you want to be just around the 28 volts or just under that means the charge alternator is working and then your oil pressure now obviously you've got an alarm here which will tell you if you're running low oil pressure but you know you want to be looking on one of these machines certainly it's about 70, 70 psi so this will show you there you've got it in bar at the bottom scale and in psi there and that's as simple as that that's all you get 
So like I say, it's just it's an auto start system, or you can run it manually, turn it to run, it'll fire up, put it to auto. Obviously it will rely on a signal coming from the ATS panel or the changeover panel to start the generator. And on these old systems, inside this box, two terminals, number 24 and number 5, and basically it links those two terminals together, starts the generator, and then breaks the contact, stops the generator. So it's really a very simple, very old but great design and still going strong. So that's basically it. So I suppose we could fire this one up today just to run it. Just so you can see a quick demonstration. Um, we'll get a bit noisy. I'll just do it for a few seconds just to demonstrate the start stop. Rather than that, that'll be the end of that. Obviously the cooling temperature isn't going to get warm in just a few seconds. Now I'm here today to give this one a service, so I don't want it getting too warm just yet until I've done that. But that's the end of this control panel explanation. I hope it may help just to explain the little features. I know it's quite an old unit now, but if you ever come across one of these, at least you know now how to turn it to off, how to start it, and obviously if you find it in auto, leave it in auto. Thanks for watching.